in this video I'm going to show you how to print an integer so in order to print an integer you first go inside of dot data and you choose a variable name I'm going to choose my var and then you will choose the type of it I'm going to choose D word for my first var and I'm going to assign number 5 and then I'm going to choose another war, my war 2 and I'm going to choose word this is going to be 4 and I'm going to choose another name, my war 3 and I'm going to choose byte and this is going to be 3 now let's see how we're going to display each one of these individually. The best thing to do is to make the operands all um, capitals so it is easier to read but you know, assembly language is not sensitive to lowercase or uppercase so you can um, be comfortable. Okay. So in order to display the first one, which is my var, it is D word. It's very easy and straightforward. You move it inside of your EAX and you display it by push by moving it inside of EAX, my var. And then call write int which is going to show it with the sign or you can say call write deck which is just going to show the value and it's not going to show the sign and then you can call crlf crlf will go to the next line so you we will know that the first two elements that we are going to print are going to be for um, D word and the first one is going to be signed the second one it's going to be unsigned it's going to only be the value so we have to get plus 5 and 5 for the next one we have two options we either can move EAX to 0 we want to make sure that EAX is empty there is nothing in EAX and then we move ax which is a d word and we move my word 2 inside of our ax which is a d word which is a word sorry ax is a word and my word 2 is a word so i'm moving my word 2 inside of ax and then let me put some um space between these so you can understand it easily and then we can call write int to display the first one call write deck and both of them are going to display my var write int is going to display it with the sign and write deck is going to display only the value so this is the first method of displaying. You can either um, move EAX to zero or let's use the other method as well. I can do move zero extended since these are not signed. If, if you want to do the signed, you can do S extended. If they were negative, it's going to extend all one, 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 but since these numbers are all positive I can go with zero extended move zero extended EAX my var 2 move call write int call write deck so basically the same thing. I'm calling write deck on it and I'm calling write int on it but instead of uh, having a d word I'm just saying 
zero extent whatever you don't have my war it's going to move my war inside of eax and then the rest of it is going to be zero if you use sine extended which is stand for sx it's going to look at your war and see if it is positive or negative it if it is negative it's going to extend all ones if it is positive it's going to extend all zero so for now we're just going to do move zx and the last one which is my bar 3 is a tight bite so we have to move eax 0 so eax is 0 there's nothing in it don't forget to call CRLF after each one of these because then all of them are going to be on the same line. Call CRLF in the space there and then call CRLF in the space here. Okay, so the first type we are moving EAX, we are moving zero inside of EAX and then call sorry move a l which is a byte type of register eax to my war 3 and then call write int on it which is going to show it with sign and call write deck on it which is going to show it with um, as an as just a value and I'm going to call CRLF on this and again you can choose the same thing you can do move zero extended EAX I'm not going to write it anymore because it's going to be exactly the same procedure so now let's build and start without debugging. So this is plus five five, this is plus four four, plus four four, so the first one um, is when we the first plus four and four is when we put a zero in there and the second plus four and 4 is when we move with 0 extended and then we have plus 3 and 3 which uh, we move 0 to EAX and after that we call write int and write deck on it so this is how you display integers